Okay, guys, I'm back, and uh, we are going to finish up our um, our project here. And so let's just take everything, and we're just going to dump it into a new composition. Oop. Here we go. We're going to make this swirly thingy. All right, now this is this is pretty cool. Okay, so we got our swirly thingy here, and we're going to go into the effects controls, right click distort, go down to polar coordinates, and we're going to set this from polar to rect, to rect to polar. And we're going to set it to 100. And take a look at that. Isn't that freaking awesome? Oh my god. And you're probably wondering, Steve, you know, why don't we just take a solid and, you know, just make a, a triangular mask and, you know, do kind of the same thing we did with our um, rotation composition. Where is it? Like that. Um, well, the thing is, with this, if we go back to our original composition, go to our null, enlarge the pixel size, go back, and they're thicker. See, that's 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 pretty cool. I mean, you couldn't do that if you just made a, a regular mask. So let's. So we're going to add just a few more rays in here. So how many we got here? 13 rays. Oop. Okay, so let's go back to our composition. And now how we get that swirly effect is we are going to go back to um, distort, go down to twirl, rotate, and uh, enlarge the twirl radius. Just hits. Bam, there we go. And just increase uh, the amount of twirl we got there. And there we go, that's basically it. And all we do is just, you know, duplicate our twirly thingy. And uh, go into the scale, unselect the little chain there so we can uh, scale, eat, um, scale it uh, separately, uh, X and Y. And we're going to hit. Uh, negative 100 to flip it around. Now let's go to our sw top swirly thingy, hit the R for rotation, alt click the stopwatch, and we're going to type in a simple expression time times 100. So it's just going to rotate the top layer and let's hit the space bar. For our rotation out, isn't that freaking slick? Now let's take the uh, uh, time, we'll divide it into half into 50 go to our lower swirly thingy, hit R for rotation, um, alt click the stopwatch, and we're going to pick whip uh, the top rotation. And uh, after this uh, expression here, we are going to type in times negative 1, which will actually reverse the rotation. So this is what we got now. Isn't that freaking cool? Now the best part about it, if we go back into the original comp, and uh, let's say here, let's reduce the size of the by down to 50, size of pixels down to 15. Add a few more rays in there. So now we got to bring it up to 17. Go back to our swirly thingy, and it updates both. Isn't that great? Oh my god. Look at that. Okay, so now we're going to add some color into them. So go to the top swirly thingy. Let's close these guys up here. Right click in your uh, effects controls. Go to color correction, hue saturation, and we're going to hit colorize. Now, to get white to create a color, what we have to do is go to color lightness and turn that to a negative 50. Now, to turn black into a color, you do exactly the opposite. You add 50 to the lightness. So your lightness would be 50 for something that's black you want to make into a color. Go to color saturation, colorize saturation, bring it up to 100%. And I like the hue at red. That's cool. We'll just leave it there. So I'm just going to copy this. <laughs> Excuse me. Drop into the second swirly, swirly thingy. And... Um, Hmm, didn't do it this time. Sometimes it, it resets it. 
I don't I don't know why, but this time it didn't. So I'm just going to uh, change the color to a nice blue, and let's go down to uh, uh, the uh, uh, layer mode and um, set it to multiply. So basically, you're cutting out uh, the little little intersections there. So now we're getting something like really psychedelic. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of something out of like Doctor Who or something. I don't know. Whatever. Um, let's see here. And I think that would be about it. I mean, you can do like more colors and stuff like that if you wanted. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's that. That's basically it. Um, I know the the first part was a little long winded to get to the actual cool part here um but uh you know i hope you guys uh learned something about expressions um like one of one of my tutorials that i have um i can't i can't remember the gentleman's name but he's on uh, graymachine.com which check him out he's really good um basically you don't want to use expressions unless you really have to um you don't want to you know substitute you know keyframes it, it's just like um Sometimes it's just easier to do it the regular old way of keyframing and moving stuff around than it is to use expressions. Like something like this, it would, you know, take forever to actually, you know, create one of these little spirals and duplicate it and, you know, offset it just normally. Uh, the expressions here saved time and energy. Um, twirling it around, doing the twirl thing it would have been just as easy to do the old keyframe way. In fact, it's sometimes better to do a keyframe uh, key uh, on the rotation because then you can um, make it so it's loopable with, um, you know, using the time expression. It's, unless you do some hardcore calculations, you're not going to make it loopable. Um, so you can kind of see where I'm going here. But um, expressions are great for, you know, doing stuff that you would not normally be able to do with just regular effects and regular... Um, you know, animation techniques and stuff like that. So anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, go ahead and, you know, post and send me an email. Um, if you're going to bitch and complain about uh, it taking so long or whatever, just keep your mouth shut and don't even bother posting because I don't really care and I'll just <laughs> d delete your, your message anyway. Um, but if you do want to bitch and complain, send me a direct email. Don't post it on my, uh, on the actual, um, uh, vid video site because then you're just going to show other people what kind of idiot you are. Um, sorry, that just had to be said. Okay, uh, I'm done. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I will see you guys later. Bye.